Hi friends, my name is Maruti and I am the co-founder of Kraku. In this video, you will be looking at the interview I did with uh, Nitin Agarwal, who was a premium student of Kraku last year. He did very well in ZAT. He scored a 99.985 in ZAT 2024 and he converted XLRA and he is joining it. So in this video, we will be looking at his journey, his MBA preparation journey and what he did and what he did not do. In his profile, one of the things that I found really, really useful or really, really inspiring was the fact that uh, when he took CAT one year back, he scored 37 percentile in verbal. He did well in uh, quant and LRDI, but he scored only 37 percentile in verbal and he knew that uh, that was one weakness. But uh, for many students who score similarly, I always tell them that uh, you should look at it as a source of inspiration. You should feel that two of my sections are nearly sorted. I think he scored 95 plus in both the quant as well as LRDI and he scored only 37 in verbal. So he also looked at it as one uh, section is his weakness, which is what he has to focus on. So he put in efforts and from 37 percentile in verbal uh, one year back, in CAD this year he scored 90 plus in verbal and in ZAT he scored 98 plus in verbal. So overall he has improved his verbal uh, percentile significantly in the last one year and he gave tips about what he has done to uh, achieve it. So look at uh, this video and try to see if, if it will be useful for you, especially for students who are struggling with verbal in uh, CAT. I think this video will be very inspiring and very useful for you. So if you have any uh, doubts or any comments, please do let us know in the comment section. I look at all the comments and I'll respond to them to the best of my ability. So hi Nitin, how are you? How are things? Sir, I am completely fine and I am very happy to meet you in person. Uh, and it is always very good to, to be on the same side of the screen. And now I would like to express my gratitude to you uh, because you were yeah. my conscious source of inspiration and motivation to me to me and you were the guiding light to me because of you and this alimam i get this such kind of accomplishment and now i would uh, also like to express my uh, journey to journey with the crack you and how crack you help yeah thanks a lot man these kind of words always like uh inspire me to work harder okay whenever uh, like many times i tell this also whenever i'm doing a stream like say late at night i feel tired i feel because when i'm doing a stream it is not easy to interact with a lot of people you just see a number of people who are online which is like an abstract number you don't really know how many of them are really online or how many of them are paying attention to you so it feels like i'm just teaching and there is nobody in front of me but when i get a mail like this or somebody send, uh, says words like this the next day i feel like super motivated i feel yeah there are actually many people who are watching and we are helping so then i try to get more energy into my teaching so these kind of words really mean a lot but anyway let us uh, start today's uh, this uh, session so first i want to introduce you you are nitin uh, you have been a student of kraku for the last uh, year and you have just got admitted into xlra so i wanted to ask about your journey so before we start with that just introduce yourself where are you from okay how much work experience do you have how many times you have taken cat and that those kind of things so my name is Nitin Agarwal. I belong to Hanumangarh, Rajasthan. Uh, so okay. currently, I have currently I have been working in Reliance Industries Limited for more than three years. Uh, now I have around forty months of experience. So I am working as a civil design engineer in Reliance Engineering Group, uh, and I have appeared in CAT twenty twenty two and in CAT twenty twenty three, and I appeared in Z twenty twenty four. So and how much did you score in the CAT first time? So, uh, I I just attempted CAT 2022 as a mock, in which I only prepared for for about uh, two months, and my main focus was to cover the quant syllabus and DILR, and I scored 87 percentile in the CAT 2022, uh, in which I scored more than 95 percentile in the quants and more than 97 percentile in this, in DILR, and I scored only 35 percentile in the VARC, which was pathetic and then I decided that yeah, I have so much potential in me, and I can easily able to crack uh, crack the CAT 2023 next year. That also would be slightly motivating, right? If you have scored 95 plus in two sections, you know that there is one clear weakness. I have to improve in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, when I joined Crack U in the Feb 2023, uh, my primary objective was to just go, just getting good in the uh, VARC section, and yeah, it was really great. And and the thing is that. Now in the CAT 2023, I scored 97.90 percentile, in which uh, I only matched up one section, and but in quants I was good, and I think I scored 99.83 percentile in quants, and 
uh, in VA RCI I scored more than 90 percent, right? but in DILR I messed up in the one section and uh, with the over ambitiousness I think I messed this section because I was uh, following your footsteps and I was thinking that I should also attempt three minimum sections because I do that in the mocks and uh, somehow it backfired me and I only scored 80 percentile in the See, one thing is I always tell students, okay, anybody who is watching also, I always tell them one thing, okay, first get one set correct. Even I, when I try to do well in the exam, for me in LRD, I try to get two sets correct. One set I should definitely get correct. Then if there is time, I should get the second set correct. Anything more is a bonus. And I try to get 100 percentile. Even then also I see two sets is pretty good, okay. Because LRD, you should not be ambitious at all. That is just like a recipe for disaster. So actually the thing is that uh, I was good in DIL, okay? I was mm -hmm. going good marks in the section tests and, and in the mock tests also. And, and the thing is that uh, this uh, table questions were like the, were, were like my comfort zone. Okay? Mm -hmm. I, I, so my CAT 2020 slot was 3, in which there was AC and refrigerator set. So I already have attempted such kind of, uh, yeah, yeah. such kind of questions and I was good in that. So that question was I was I, I like that yeah it is my comfort mm -hmm. and I should be uh, like I should do it in within fifteen minutes easily but somehow it I don't know it gets lengthy because of the pressure maybe I don't know mm -hmm. but uh, I remember that said it was not a very straightforward set but it can be done it is not a impossible set it can be done yeah yeah so but actually the time the time I took this set was about I think twenty eight minutes. So, okay. and in the last 12 minutes, I, I was not able to do anything and I only attempted one question and it went wrong. So, yeah, I scored 14 marks in the LRDI section and yeah, that was But that is fine. But one thing I wanted to ask is, see, you improved your verbal score from 35 percentile, 37 percentile to 90 percentile. So, what it exactly did you do? Yeah. So, my when I joined the, uh, like, track uh, was in the Feb 23. Uh, I was attending all those video lectures from the Sayali ma'am. And the one thing she mentioned regularly was the activating. And the activating part was so helpful to me. Like she was also telling that the uh, results would not come out instantly. It will take some time. Okay. So you have to wait for two, three months and then uh, you get the desired results. And you, you should trust the process. Okay. And then I started the uh reading newspapers and some novels because she also recommended me to do, to do such kind of thing and when i was attempting any like any tests on in the uh, vrc i was whenever i was like uh, practicing any passage my main objective was to improve the accuracy by activity okay. so i note down one or two major points of the article so that i can get the grasp of it and yeah, eventually I get better and better and better. And so, yeah, so, so this VAS is called credit just goes to her only. Okay. So when you're taking mocks also, you could feel that you're improving. Like before the exam also, did you feel that, okay, I'm actually now better than last year in verbal? So, so the results, so the results uh, like uh, came out, started came, coming out in, I think in the mid-June and mid-July. So okay. now I was like getting more than more than 15 so may, maybe it sounds very less to you but it was like a improvement no 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 when i was started scoring more than 15 18 marks in every yeah. mock test so now i was like uh, yeah my confidence also like i also okay. get boosts up and boosts up and i was thinking yeah i am on the right path i just have to follow this path okay so yeah eventually i do better and better and but the thing is that with the crack you the best part is the daily tasks and the uh, daily challenges i was I was so desperate to maintain my streak so that I can get the correct t-shirt. So yeah, it, yeah, so there was this thing now that if you uh, maintain the streak of the 50 daily challenges, you get the t-shirt. Okay. So I was I was so much eager to get the t-shirt, and I I have to spare one hour every day so that I can mm -hmm. complete those those daily challenges and maintain my streak. So who made fun of you? Yeah, so my friends make fun of me that oh, you are maintaining streaks, such kind of things, and <laughs> people maintain streaks on some other kind of application, and you are maintaining streak in some this thing. Yeah, and yeah. but actually, it helped me a lot because I knew that uh, consistency will be the key, and these daily tasks and these daily tasks and daily challenges were there to keep me consistent mm -hmm. and motivated. Correct. 
and and well, the good part uh, like i particularly want to mention this to sayali ma'am that she covered the number systems and jabra time and work permutation combination probability so effectively and so good na that my confidence was like at at the gold level before the mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. yeah i want like to ex- actually share one experience so yeah. in crack you there is one feature uh, in which uh, uh, you can see the live sectional attempts from obviously yeah. you and say ali mm-hmm. so yeah. uh, i know that uh, uh, in the mid october when i was mm-hmm. when i was religiously started giving the sectional tests in mm-hmm. the crack you Uh, of the quant itself, for the quant specific, uh, my objective was to score near by you or correct. to score higher than you because uh, correct, correct. I because for the practice of, which I was doing yeah. for the past past seven eight months, I I become so good and correct. and I I easily get score more than fifty in the those sectional tests and sometimes mm-hmm. I was like oh I just I just uh, three marks or four marks shorts. Uh, of the Maruti mm-hmm. sir and everything, and in yeah. one test, in one test, I was like, yeah, I, I finally I able to surpass Maruti sir, and yeah. I was so happy that yeah. And then I told my fellow, my friends that yeah, I would I would easily score more than ninety nine percent in one for sure because yeah. I did this kind of accomplishment and all of that. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Many people actually told us that. Again, I tell this in many of my interviews. When we again take the sectional attempts, again we feel. is it worth it who is going to watch us taking the sections because it, i never felt it was very like uh, popular i didn't think that many people would actually watch it but after the results came and when i'm doing the interviews of the toppers many people told me that uh, they used to watch the section attempt because they used to feel especially when they didn't do well they wanted to see whether it is really difficult or whether we are able to and many people told us that when we were struggling they used to feel like uh, more encouraged they used to feel that okay it's not just them the paper itself is tough So this year we'll be doing it for all the dash cats. Last year I think we missed out on some dash cats because we didn't feel that it was uh, popular. But this year we realized that it's very useful, so we'll do it for every dash cat. So you are saying something. Thing is that uh, we also get the proper guidance and the proper mm-hmm. strategy to uh, attempt mm-hmm. those moves because we we also see you that uh, uh, you were struggling in such kind of thing questions and yeah. and the question selection of you guys were very helpful to us also like. How do how do you move on from one question? Like you immediately know that yeah you cannot do this question. Just yeah I just have to move out from this question. So mm-hmm. uh, I have like uh, faced this problem in the CAT 2022 when I I spent like more than five to seven minutes in one question and I couldn't able to uh, answer that question and it was very hard to move on. But when I was watching your uh, attempts and yeah I, I actually like that quality of you guys like you easily moved on. From one question yeah. to another, if you say that, yeah, this is a tricky question, I shouldn't uh, waste my time. That is one thing which is very important. Like many people don't discuss it often. One of the key uh, aspects of doing well in CAT is leaving some questions which you feel are difficult, because you save a lot of time. Many people take it on ego and they just get stuck there. That's not at all good. So anyway, CAT is done. Okay, now you know that after CAT the response sheet came. You know that okay, your LID was not up to the mark. Okay, then how are you feeling? And how did you motivate yourself to start preparing for that? Uh, so when I looked my response sheet, uh, I scored fourteen marks in the DIL section and twenty five marks in the ARC and thirty three or thirty three marks in the quant. Uh, I was like, uh, yeah, I, I will would be able to score more than ninety eight percentile and I will get some mm-hmm. calls from mm-hmm. top B schools as I have good profile and work experience. But I knew that uh, I knew before the CAT was already that. I have to score more than ninety nine point five percent in CAT. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise, I would I wouldn't be getting any black eye goals because I am a G gem. So for gem, it is very mm-hmm. tough. So yeah, that's why I am telling you now that I was over ambitious and I was mm-hmm. keen to solve three sets in the DIL, mm-hmm. which I usually do. Uh, mm-hmm. But but I was thinking that yeah, I would get this this goal, this this goal, and I should be mm-hmm. started preparing for the uh, interviews mm-hmm. and everything. But Yeah, already my snap and my ten Z were lined up in the. Uh, mm-hmm. So my friend tell me that, go just don't give up and try to do better in the snap and Z because uh, Excel and SM Info never also a top for this. You should, uh, you should put yourself hundred percent and uh, just don't give up and and do everything. And so on my dashboard. Uh, there was this Z course and Snap course in which there are recorded videos in a very well structured mm-hmm. manner. 
Mm-hmm. So for this snap and and met, I particularly focus on the English part because the English part is very different in the end. But because they they are more much more focused on the grammar and vocabulary based. Mm-hmm. So I started taking those lecture of the of the of the Sayali ma'am, uh, in which uh, the figure of speech, basic grammar mistake, basic grammar questions were there. Were there, and they were very helpful in my and met and snap exam. And after the snap exam. Uh, i take uh, those decision making classes so yes. in decision making classes i decision making section particular section i was good i don't know but i was already good mm-hmm. so uh, in in those classes i uh, i actually know how to attempt such kind of questions what are, what are the things i should try look uh, before attempting such kind of questions so she really helped me in the decision making part also and uh, i know that you did very well how much did you get in that and what is the split in that Which uh, section? How much did you score percentage? Uh, so I scored ninety nine point nine eight five seven percentile in that twenty twenty. Very good, fantastic. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I know about the marks which I get in the uh, in the Z. Mm-hmm. So I scored I think twenty two point five marks in the math section. And okay, very nice. I don't know about the other, but <laughs> I, I should have actually look into the Z because because I knew that I have done great and so. Ah, uh, because ninety nine point nine eight five is a very good score. It's a fantastic score. Yeah, so ni- I scored ninety nine point nine five percentile in the quant section and more than ninety eight percentile in the uh, in the language section and uh, in the decision making I scored I think more than ninety eight percentile. So it is uh, okay. like that very and. Good. Uh, I think that I scored fourteen marks in the uh, decision making section. Yeah, yeah. See, one thing again, which stands out. Total score was forty-eight. Like, forty-eight. Very good, man. See, one thing that stands out is you got like thirty-seven percentile in verbal in CAT twenty twenty-two, and in CAT this year you scored above ninety, and in ZAD this year you scored above ninety-eight in verbal. That is a fantastic improvement, man. That is like fairly inspiring also. When you see that kind of a jump in any section. that is basically just hard work consistent hard work which is showing uh, results yeah i also want to give like i openly give the credit to sayali ma'am because she encourages me to do the active uh, active reading and she she focusing like she uh, again and again mentioning that you should start reading newspapers no well so that you can get the hang of the reading and we, i openly give uh, like the credit to her because because of her i scored so good and i improved in the vrc also Uh, and the best part uh, about the crack you was the booster classes i i know that uh, every wednesday i i try to come early from uh, try to come early from the office to attend those booster mm-hmm. classes at 7:30 uh, 7:30 pm in in night and yeah this year we are doing it on wednesday and thursday every wednesday and every thursday we'll have it nice nice because again many people told us that they really like the booster classes so we are doing it twice a week because uh, we have to like we, so there is this competition now uh, that you have to score as much as marks in in those 10 okay. questions so you have like yeah i want to do the best i want to do my best i want to do my best so mm-hmm. yeah so that i can be also get highlighted on the right side of the screen so yeah that is particular motivation there and one thing that uh, you before, like whenever you give the question and you give the 3 minutes mm-hmm. to answer those question you were you were telling the stories and you were giving the motivations to us especially you sir because yeah. uh, i knew that uh, you were telling one story before the cat examination you were telling about the story of the uh, of your one student who got the admission in the iim kolkata i know about that story yeah, yeah in which yeah. he matched up in the dilr section and then he eventually yeah. done so great in the quants and oh, yeah. you already done great in the vars and yeah. eventually he ends up in the dilr yeah. uh, in the iim kolkata because uh, he just able to Uh, qualify the cut off of the eighty five percentile in the. So for people who don't know this story, so there used to be one content manager who used to work with us. He was a pretty smart guy, fairly smart fellow. He also was very ambitious. He wanted to do very well in all the three sections. He did very well in verbal. He always used to consider LRD as his uh, strong point. He used to tell that to us when he was working also. And LRD he messed up. This was I think around CAT two thousand seventeen or so when LRD suddenly became very difficult. That was the first time nobody expected it to be so difficult, and he completely messed up. I think he attempted only four or five questions. and he knew that most likely was not clearing the cut off but he felt if i clear the cut off just about clear the cut off i need to maximize my quant and then immediately was able to motivate himself and he did very well in quant so when the results came he did well in verbal he did very well in quant 
and Della Dia, he just cleared the cutoff. He got all the questions he attempted correct. I think he attempted four or five and he got all of them correct. So he just about managed to clear the cutoff. And then he got 9.8, I think eight or so, seven or 9.8. And then he got interview, he converted Am Calcutta. He went there, he graduated, he's working in a big MNC now. So that is a story I always tell students that even if one section goes terribly, you never know. You should not just give up. Even if you think it went very poorly, unless you didn't attempt any question, even if you attempted three or four questions, if they are actually correct, you might clear the cutoff. So don't just give up and uh, this mostly happens in LRDA. Don't just give up and waste quant also. Yeah, so and that is the that is the advice which came in my mind actually. This is the advice which came in my mind when I was giving the CAT 2023 and yeah, I just remembered the words of you and I also tried my best in the quants and yeah, I I done I done I have also done good in the quant section because of that quant section I scored ninety seven point nine zero percent. Very nice. So in your journey, I want to ask you two things. One, uh, uh, two last things. One is tell me something that you did well, which you want uh, to give. If you are telling uh, this to a junior, you should tell him, okay, this is the thing I did and that helped me a lot. That is one thing. And what is the mistake that you made? One junior, if he is asking you for advice, uh, because I'm assuming this will be watched by many juniors. So one mistake that you made, which you don't want them to repeat. And one good thing that you did, which you want them to emulate. So I could, uh, so the good thing which I have done was the, I played on my strengths. Okay. So my quant was the, my main strength and the arithmetic was, arithmetic is my main strength. Mm -hmm. So I polishes it with, with mm -hmm. time to time and, uh, and yeah, I, I was so much confident in my arithmetic skills and eventually I also get better in the algebra and because of those things and because of my confidence in this particular sections, I also did great. And the mistake which I have done was the over ambitious and I was too much thinking about the results while giving the, while giving the exam. Uh, so there is one saying now that, uh, you just do your best, never think about the results when, when you are attempting anything. So yeah. when I was giving this, uh, CAT 2020, I was so much on the results that I have to score 99.5% I live so that I can get the black eye codes because of that uh, fear and because of that pressure, I messed up in the. Uh, DILA. And that is why I am saying that uh, in that I was very fearless. I was, I have nothing to lose and I was like, yeah, I have to just put out my best. And yeah, I, I am not thinking about any results and everything because I always, I not, didn't know the score, uh, the qualifying score for the XLRI course. And I knew nothing. I just have to give my best. So yeah, right. that thing worked for me and I, I learned from my mistake that, yeah. 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 Very nice, man. Okay. Very nice talking to you, Nathan. So you finally converted XLRI, right? You will be joining XLRI. Yeah, I, I am. I will be joining XLRI Jamshedpur BM program uh, in the okay, coming two Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Very happy for you. Okay. Uh, your story is very inspiring to me, especially your jump in verbal. Uh, those kind of stories I always tell students because again, many people ask me that okay, I scored only forty percentile. Can I improve? Uh, I didn't do very well this time. Can I improve in one year? I always tell them it is possible. You can improve if you are doing consistent efforts. And you are a like a re living proof of it. So that is very nice. Okay. So yeah, any, so yeah. Yeah. So I was, yeah, I was, I was just, I was just want to say the last final words that, yeah, yeah. you, Malti sir, and you and Sayali ma'am, you helped me a lot uh, in throughout my journey and you played a key role in my, in this accomplishment of mine. And I will, I would be really grateful to you forever for such an yeah man thanks a lot you don't know how much these words mean to me because they inspire me to work harder so anyway nitin thanks a lot for your kind words and your story itself is very inspiring and i'm sure it will help a lot of students all the best for your mba and uh, do stay in touch with us okay thank you sir. yeah